Hello guys, pure madness. It is the only explanation we have for today's epic news. Until today, we all were sure that Kylian Mbappe will sign for Real Madrid. But now there is a big chance that the Frenchman is set to announce the signing of a new short-term contract with PSG. With that said, we've collected all the latest info on the most anticipated decision of this transfer window. Just make yourself comfortable and get ready for the show! Make your predictions in the comments below in which club do you think will Kylian Mbappe begin next season? Is it gonna be PSG or Real Madrid? In the meantime, let's start today's episode. Let's go! Kylian Mbappe is close to staying at PSG. According to insider Gianluca Di Marzio, the situation with the Frenchman's possible move to Real Madrid has drastically changed, as the striker has changed his mind. Despite a verbal agreement he has with Los Blancos, the 23-year-old star is now close to extending his contract with the Parisians. Such a twist from Mbappe might happen as PSG's firm action convinced him to stay in the club. Journalist Guillaume Balagi reveals that Kylian Mbappe's transfer to Real Madrid is on the verge of failure. I've just been told that Florentino Perez has told the players tonight in the change in Rome that Mbappe is not coming. Let's wait to hear what Mbappe has to say before we confirm anything. He tweeted, Kylian Mbappe still hasn't decided on his future whether he would continue his PSG journey or move to Santiago Bernabeu, according to insider Fabrizio Romano. Today, the 23-year-old Frenchman will once again raise this topic with his family and entourage. At the moment, there is no guarantee that Kylian will announce a decision on Sunday, as originally planned, or even in the near future. Real Madrid were hoping to get confirmation from Mbappe last Tuesday, but the Frenchman asked for more time to think. Over the past 15 days, PSG have improved Mbappe's offer in hopes of convincing him to stay at Parc des Princes. PSG don't give up on attempts to keep Kylian Mbappe in Paris. The French club has offered the striker to sign a three-year contract to convince him to turn down Real Madrid's offer, according to The Athletic. This will allow PSG to both keep the Frenchman in the squad and maintain his high transfer value. In the latest contract offer, particular attention is paid to ensuring that the Paris-born Mbappe becomes the main figure of the club's brand. Kylian Mbappe's mother spoke about offers her son has received from Real Madrid and PSG. We will not have new meetings with PSG to discuss Mbappe's future. These meetings are now over. Now we have found an agreement with both Real Madrid and PSG, and the discussions are over because it's Kylian who has to choose now. The two offers, that of PSG and Real, are almost identical. At Real, my son will have control of his image rights. The offer of the opposite side implies financial compensation for the lack of control over the rights. We will now await his decision. The two offers are similar, though. Fayaz Alamari said. PSG offered Kylian Mbappe huge money to keep the striker in their ranks. According to Eurosport Espania, the Parisians offered the 23-year-old player a 300 million euro signing bonus to extend his contract. Also, the terms of the new agreement include a 100 million euros per year salary after taxes. In addition, Kylian will have control over most of his image rights. French striker Antoine Griezmann will not leave Atletico Madrid this summer. The 31-year-old is playing for the Madrid club on loan from Barcelona. Earlier, it was reported that he could return to Camp Nou. However, Atletico president Enrique Cerezo denies these rumors. For me, Griezmann is in the top three or four of the best players in the world. He is an Atletico player. He has a contract, so he will stay," said as I said. Bayern are interested in Everton star Richarlison as a replacement for Robert Lewandowski. The 33-year-old Paul intends to leave the Munich club in the summer to join Barcelona. The Bayern board doesn't want to let him go, as he has one more year left on his contract. But anyway. They are exploring possible options to replace the goal scorer just in case. The club has already contacted Richarlison's agents. The transfer fee of the 25-year-old striker is estimated at 50 million euros. His contract with the Telfis runs until 2024. As of today, I don't see Lewandowski at Barcelona. La Liga president Javier Tebas has told Cope. Other things have to happen that I don't know if they are going to happen. The Barca licensing and merchandising thing, Barca Studio sale, etc. In their budget, they had a sale of Barca Studios that I don't see happening, he added. 
Lewandowski has one year left at Bayern. Between what Lewandowski wants to earn and what Bayern wants to take as a fee, it gives me the feeling, as of today, that we won't see him at Barcelona," Tabas concluded. Barcelona are said to be ready to make their first formal bid for Robert Lewandowski. However, even if they land him, they will still need to conduct a few big sales before being able to register the poll. Besides, Tabas hasn't mentioned the CVC deal Barca are going to sign soon. This is going to inject some extra funds into the club's transfer budget. Paris Saint-Germain have officially announced that Angel Di Maria is leaving the club. The Parisian club published a statement on its website with a thank you note. The Argentinian winger spent seven seasons in France, after moving from Manchester United in 2015. In total, he has played 294 matches for the Parisians, scored 91 goals and made 111 assists. Rumors link the 34-year-old star with Juventus, which can sign him as a free agent. Isco's career with Real Madrid ends today, and it's been a great career. He surely could have done more, but he's been important. I wish him all the best," Carlo Ancelotti has told Movistar. Marcelo has not said goodbye yet. He's still our captain and will be the captain until the final. Gareth Bale wanted to say goodbye tonight, but he couldn't. He will have his chance during the final because I think he will be ready to play," Ancelotti added. Thus. We may expect both Marcelo and Gareth Bale to make the squad list for the Champions League final, while Isco has apparently played his last match for Real Madrid against Betis. All the three players are leaving the club as free agents in the summer. According to Gerard Romero, Xavi has personally told Oscar Mingueza, Samuel Umtiti and Martin Braithwaite that they have no place in his plans next season. It makes sense, given that those three have barely featured since Xavi took over last November. Braithwaite for one has only played two games under Xavi, and he didn't spend more than 15 minutes on the pitch in each of the games. Admittedly, there are more players Xavi can say goodbye to before the transfer window opens. Barcelona have not asked for Koulibaly, and I think Barca don't have enough money to sign any player, Napoli president Aurelio De Laurentiis has told Gerard Romero. We are not interested in any swap deal," the 72-year-old added. De Laurentiis is known as a tough negotiator. Napoli are expected to demand around 40 million euros for the 30-year-old centre-back, whose contract expires in July 2023. In any case, his claim about Bars having no money barely makes sense, given the fact that the Catalans have finalized the deal to part with Felipe Coutinho for 20 million euros. And here's our quick report on yesterday's matches. Real Madrid completed their glorious La Liga season with a goalless draw against Real Betis. Interesting to note that both teams made a guard of honors for each other, which looked really impressive. Recall that Betis won the Copa del Rey. Roma have qualified for the Europa League in Mourinho's first season with Gialarossi after an away victory over Torino 0-3. Tammy Abraham sparkles with another brace, and Lorenzo Pellegrini has set the final score. Dear friends, make sure to watch a new video on Inside Football, in which Ronaldinho Jr. performs pure football magic. Enjoy the show! And that was Football News. Thanks everyone for watching, have a nice one, and see you in a bit!